it's Taryn. Welcome back to my channel. And this video, we are going to unbox and test out September's BoxyCharm. Now, for the last couple of months, I've been doing it this way versus just opening it and showing you what's in it. I figured we would open it and try all the products out. Now, I've already peeked in this box because I needed to know how much of my face I needed to do. So, yes, I peeked. I'll also admit that I even swatched the eyeshadows. But... I'm impressed. So that's so far so good. And I will admit that I'm most excited for the eyeshadow because it's creamy. All right, so this box's theme is called Boxy Baddie. How cute. Remember when that was a thing on Instagram? Like an Instagram baddie? Okay, so basically what this is is it tells you everything that's in the box and how much it costs. Remember though, I got this box for 21 bucks like I do every single month. Shipping is free. I'll put more information down below and list some other previous Boxy Charms if you're interested in watching them. Let's go through the box, show you what's in it, and then we'll get started on kind of using some of these products. First thing I wanna talk about is this Pure Cosmetics Soiree Diaries Eyeshadow Palette. So here's a look at the eyeshadows in the palette. I've already put a nail print in that one, yes, don't judge me, but you've got some great neutrals. You've even got these like shimmer shades, which I'm super excited to use. And then this middle is sort of darker slash neutrals. This color right here called Stunner, I'm so excited to use. This also feels like really good quality. It's heavy, it's not light. You've got a really big mirror in here, so I'm excited to try that. And this retails for $34. Next, we have this HD Finishing Powder by Studio Makeup. This says it's a lightweight HD powder to set your makeup for a flawless finish, suitable for all skin types, and this retails for $35. I want to talk about this because I saw this and then I saw the name and it's a ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Strut. I love ColourPop because it's affordable, it's pigmented, it's great quality, and it's not going to break the bank. So let's see, this retails for six bucks. So yeah, if you didn't get the BoxyCharm, six bucks is not like a crazy amount to buy that lippy for yourself. We've also got this MAC Lingering Eyebrow Pencil. Oh yes. Okay, this retails for 18 bucks, and it looks like this is the shade, which may be a teensy bit dark for me, but we're going to go with it. We're going to try it out. Then I have these two brushes from, let's see, Bodyography Pro. It's a flat shader brush and then an angled liner brush. These retail for 20 bucks. It's a brush duo, so I guess the two come together. And finally, we have a Brioche, Brioche? deep conditioning mask for your hair, I assume. Yeah, so this retails for 20 bucks. It says, an intensive weekly treatment to restore essential hydration and enhance hair's resilience to protect against future damage. Whew. Starting to sweat already. Okay, real quick before we get started, let's go ahead and add all of this up and see what the total is. And again, I paid $21 for this box every single month. It's the same price. Retails for $133. So all the products in here total $133. What I want to do first is go ahead and set my foundation with this HD powder. I have foundation, bronzer, blush, and that's it. That's all I have on right now. So I love, I've already opened this too. I love that it's got a sifter in here because, oh, it's not a sifter. Is it a sifter? Oh, okay, okay. So we're going to pop this off. I don't know if this is just me, but I can't get this plastic part off because there's a like protectant seal under it that I need to take off. And unfortunately, I can't get this out to take that off. So I guess we're not trying this today. That's a bummer. I'm going to clip my hair back too just because it's going to get on my nerves and I don't want it to get on your nerves. So, all right, let's go in with this Soiree Diaries from Pure Cosmetics. And I think what we're going to do first is just maybe use this shade here that I put my fingernail in already and put that all over the lid to kind of smooth everything out. These shades too, I will say, are so creamy. Next, we're going to go in with this shade here, and it's called Gala. And I think it would just be, oh man, those are pigmented. Just a good transition shade. Hmm. 
So far, that's a really, really pretty color. Now I'm gonna go in with Splurge right here. It's just a little bit darker than that Gala color, and I just wanna put that a little bit lower just to kind of define that crease a little bit. All right, let's go in Stunner now. Stunner, yes, Stunner, because that's the shade that I've been looking at since this morning when I swatched this palette. So I wanna, oh my gosh, that is so pretty. It's almost like a slight burnt orange color. So pretty. Ooh, and it is pigmented. I'm going to go back into and just blend everything with this like fluffy brush because I'm not trying to have no harsh lines. I have things to do today. I have to take um, my Stitch Fix stuff back to the post office. I just posted a video um, the other day about Stitch Fix. My second box wasn't such a huge success. I'm not mad about it though. We're gonna keep trying. I'm gonna go in now and use this Bodyography Flat Shader Brush because I think what I'm gonna do is put that stunner color all over my lids because I wanna use a shimmer shade but I wanna give it something to kinda of catch on to. Okay, this is a cute little brush. Wow, look at that. This brush was white before. There is a little bit of fallout but for real though, oh my gosh. I'm usually a super neutral person, but I've been inspired lately. I've been watching, um, gosh, what is her name? Brianna Fox, Brianna Fox, I'm not sure how she says her name, but she just did a video using the Subculture palette and did like one burgundy eye and one like hunter green eye. And she's like amazing already at what she does, but it was just beautiful. So it kind of inspired me. Granted, I don't have the background that she does because I didn't go to school for cosmetology, but it's still inspiring, you know, to try to do things like that. Look at that. And I'm gonna go in with Splurge and just put that under my lower lash line. Now I'm gonna go in with Center, do the same thing. I'm gonna go back in with Gala, this first like light color, and just kind of blend everything at the top again. So this is what we have so far, and I've been eyeing this color right here, this one right here called Twinkle. I think that is a beautiful like burnt shimmer color. I think it would be beautiful on top of that stunner color. There's also Glitzy next to it. Glitzy on this finger here though is to me just a little bit too gold for what I'm going for today. I'm wiping that all on my pants. I'm gonna take the other side of this flat shader brush without any product on it. I'm gonna go in with Twinkle. I swatched it with my finger obviously and it was beautiful so we'll see how the brush works. Okay, it's not bad. I'm gonna go in with this Project Beauty Spray Set Go Makeup Setting Spray, and I'm gonna spray my brush a little bit with product on it just to see if that makes a difference. Oh yeah. Yeah, that makes a big difference. This has the setting spray, this does not. It's just a little more shimmery, you know? So I think I'm happy with this. I think I'm really happy with the look that we've come up with. We're gonna close this out. Now I wanna use, it's funny because I've been looking for a liner brush like this. The only ones that I have are like super short ones and I need a longer one so that I can do better. I'm terrible at eyeliner, I will admit it 100%. So we're gonna go with this, let's see. I don't have a black like pot to do gel liner with, so for the purposes of trying out this brush, 
We're going to go in with Smoky Quartz Ink by Stila. I got this from TJ Maxx. I've used it like twice and it's like so cool. It's like a cushion in there. All right, I like this brush. I do like it. I'm really, really happy with this eyeshadow look. I feel like it's like a little bit of fall and that makes me happy like I kind of want a coffee now. But I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. I'm not gonna use any fake ones because I think that the eyeshadow is beautiful and I don't wanna cover any of it. But I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise on the top and then on the bottom, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Mega Wear Mascara. Now let's go ahead and try out this MAC Eyebrow Pencil. What's well, called an eyebrow? Oh, it doesn't say, it just says, Lingering Eyebrows from MAC. And like I said, it does seem a little dark. How am I supposed to? Oh, okay. Oh, it is like a super tiny head on the brush, which is nice, or on the pencil. So, ugh. all right, let's go on in. Let's just, let's just see what happens. I don't normally fill in my eyebrows because I'm just not very good at it. So I just leave them as is. I'll usually put some like clear eyebrow gel in them. But for the purpose of trying this out, we will go ahead and go in. Okay, basically I'm just trying to fill in the sparse areas because I don't wanna look crazy. I got things to do today, like I said. Last thing we're gonna try in this box is this ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the color Strut. I've never used a ColourPop lip product. I have a collection of ColourPop eyeshadows. However, they do something weird to the skin on my eyelids. I have really weird eyelid skin, like it's super sensitive. So, you know, I'm not really sure how this is gonna do for my lips. I can tell you right off the bat, it's a little bit too dark for me. But it is a really pretty fall color. So that's what the lip looks like. Let me know down below if you think it looks funny on me. It's a little too dark. The only thing left is this Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask for your hair. Obviously, I'm not going to use that right now. Also, I'm kind of weird about exploring and like using different hair stuff like that because I am so specific in the color that I want for my hair that I'm not trying to mess it up. All right, that is a wrap on this video. I'm really, really happy with the eye look. These eyeshadows are amazing. I was just looking in the mirror and thinking, if you didn't want to do the shimmer, that stunner color is beautiful by itself. So you could do that alone without anything on top. I cannot wait to try out the other colors in that palette. Like this is beautiful and I feel like it's so fall, which makes me happy. I'll link previous Boxy Charms down below, like I said, that way you can check it out, see if you're interested. I'll also post a link down below at the very bottom of the description box. If you're interested, check out Boxy Charm, log on, see what it's all about. I promise you, I've been doing it for years and it's $21 every single month. They take it out on the first of the month. Shipping is free and you get an entire box, like five full-size products. Also this month too, I forgot to mention, Pure Cosmetics included three like little 25% off cards. So if you're interested in maybe getting that palette, there's the code if you wanna get some off. How much is this palette again? 34 bucks, uh, but it's worth it. Especially if you can get 25% off, then I would definitely recommend it. All right, I'm going now. I have running around to do, so I will see you all in my next video. Bye.